Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction. And in this video, I want to answer the question, what is the best type of patio door? You know the doors that go out onto your back patio? When you're doing a renovation, you get the opportunity to change those if you want. So what's the best option to go with? We actually get this asked all the time, especially during kitchen renovations, because a kitchen often looks out onto your backyard or back patio. So when you're considering doing patio doors, you really have three major options. The first is gonna be French doors. The second is gonna be sliders. And then the, th yeah, the third is gonna be what we call accordion doors. Now, you may be familiar with the first two French doors and sliding glass doors, but accordion, I'll write that in here, may be something that you haven't heard of, but you may have heard of brands like Nana Wall. That's a specific brand of accordion doors. So let me explain what these all do. And by the way, accordion doors are freaking ridiculous. I'm really excited to tell you about them. But let me talk, talk to you about French doors and sliding glass doors first. So French doors, if you look at a wall, are the ones that open out like that. You've got two doors. This is how you'd show the swing of the doors on the plants. Here's the door. Here's the path of the swing. Boop, boop. Uh, and then this whole area would now be open. So. French doors have some pros and cons. One of the huge pros is that you can fully open whatever the door entry way is. Like when these are open, the opening is totally, totally there. There's nothing, there's no stationary panel. There's not one that can't move. Like they can both be open, wide open, right? Now the limitation of French doors is usually you can only get them in about eight feet is the biggest size of French doors I've ever seen. And even that is pushing it. The issue is, when you put too big of a door, let me illustrate this for you. When you put a four foot wide door on hinges, here's your hinges, you wind up having problems with supporting the door. So what can happen is over time, the door can get tilted out, which then when you have two doors here, they rub, at, and I'm gonna really exaggerate this, but they rub here at the top which creates a huge just inconvenience, it sucks. Like when you have to when you have to basically, you know, gently kick your French doors to get them open, you know, maybe you've experienced that. It's just not good. That's why we don't put really big doors on, on uh, hinges because they wind up sticking over time, they sag, they get out of square. It's just not good. So either you have to add more hinges, which is just challenging to do. Not a lot of door shops will do that because you actually wind up running out of space and you chop up the frame too much. Uh, or you wind up having to put in multiple sets of French doors. So what we see is when you've got a big 16 foot opening, you would do two or three sets of French doors versus one. So now you have a vertical column between each set of French doors, even if they're open. So it's not truly fully open. Let's move on to sliders. Sliding glass doors, if you've got a big opening like this, sliding glass doors are gonna look like this. They're gonna have panels that stack. This would be like a 16 foot opening for six, four four foot panels on the 16 foot opening. Now the thing to consider is, unless you have a pocket built into your wall over here, these sliding glass doors can only stack up here. Now only this area is open. So only 12 feet of your 16 foot opening is actually fully open. Now sliders are a great option for longevity. And what I mean by that is they last a long time and they stand up to the test of time. They don't tend to malfunction because they, they're just a very simple mechanism. It's a door on a track, it rolls on wheels. If you need to, you can take the door off and replace the wheels. Uh, really, they're, they're a great product for longevity and you can get a bigger opening with sliding glass doors. Now, the con to sliding glass doors is uh, they are extremely uh, on back order currently in 2022. And uh, they're more costly than the French doors. You know, that's cost is also a consideration as well. So third, let's talk about accordion doors. So an accordion door, if you have a big opening on the back of your house, let's say you have, <clears throat> let's say you have a 20 foot opening on the back of your house and you wanna have that thing totally wide open. With an accordion door, you can have a door that has panels that actually fold up like this on either side of the opening. And you can do it two ways. You can do it like this, or you can do it where they all accordion out to one side. And they can obviously get much flatter than what I'm showing here. 
So that'd be option number two. With accordion doors, you can push them all the way open. And Apollo, maybe we can actually edit in a picture of accordion doors here so people can see what that actually looks like, like with a waterfront property or something like that. It's amazing. It's the only way to get a huge view totally open. Now the benefit to accordion doors is because they have tracks on the bottom and top, you can go really tall without sacrificing function. They almost never get out of square because they keep themselves straight up because there's multiple panels that are all holding it together. Uh, the other benefit of accordion doors is that you can do custom opening sizes. Like you can go to 21 and a half feet wide or you can go all the way down to six feet wide, whatever you need. In addition, you can also build in French doors like this up here into the middle of the accordion door. So the first two panels can actually operate like French doors, boom, they would open out like that. But then if you want to, you can unhook them and start the accordion action to open them all the way up. So you can actually have both French doors and the accordion doors both in the same setup. So these by far are the most versatile. <clears throat> Sliders would be the next best for opening size. And then French doors would be the least costly. Uh, but they do limit you on the size of your openings. Most often, we don't do French doors over six feet wide due to that sagging issue that I told you about. You can get them in eight foot wide widths where we have to add extra hinges to them and do extra reinforcement to the doors, uh, which then obviously adds to the cost of the doors. And then it's a conversation of why don't we just do a sliders or accordion shutter. So the other thing to think about is impact rating. If you're in a uh, waterfront area or a high wind zone or an area that gets a lot of storms, you are probably going to need to do impact rated of any of these. And these all come impact and non-impact. So that said, that's your basic rundown of uh, what patio doors are best. And, and if you want me to really tell you what I think are best, my, op my preference, just personal option here, this is one man's opinion, is the accordion doors. I think that they give you the best overall product because you can incorporate the French door aspect to them and they just create a ridiculously amazing uh, atmosphere when you can just totally open up and blow out the back wall of your house and open it up to your pool or your waterfront property or whatever you're on. So that said, if you have a project where you wanna add doors like this in the Tampa Bay area, we'd love to give you a free same day estimate on that. We do work in the Tampa Bay area and we do projects with these types of doors all the time. It's actually all we do. That said, if you got value out of this video about the doors, please hit the subscribe button down below as it helps me out a lot. Home Love Construction reaches more people. We do more projects. We learn more about new products and we come and share them with you. So hit the subscribe button below if you would, please. And thank you. Thank you for watching very much. See you in the next vid. Peace.